Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. For those who've never seen me before, my name is Alita and I basically just come on here and I share prophetic words that the Lord gives me through the dreams that he gives me. And um, this word is based on a dream that I had on December 14th, 2020. But before I get into the word, friends, let's just quickly just get one thing straight. Not every prophetic word is meant for you. Please remember to take it before the Lord if you think that is meant for you and um, pray about it. Ask him to confirm it. For some of you, this may be confirmation of something the Lord has already said to you. But I still encourage you to pray about it, to take it before him, to ask him to answer your questions, to fill in the gaps for you. I only know a little bit of the story. I don't know the full story. And unfortunately, or fortunately, I can't answer your questions. Fortunately, God can. And um, that's such a beautiful way for you to really build a relationship with him because that's the most important thing. Now, let's get into the dream that I had. So I had this dream on December 14th, like I mentioned. And in this dream, um, I remember seeing a couple who were in some kind of like... I think it was a shopping center of sorts, right? And um, the woman was about to tell the man that she was expecting that she was pregnant. And, but it had to be done, you know, strategically, like she was just trying to find the right uh, spot to do it at. And she did tell him, and then they had to go and get into their car and leave because they had to get going. There were things that needed to be done, right? So they get into this lift and there were other people in the lift and all of a sudden this lift doesn't want to move. The doors just closed and the lift didn't move. So they decided let's get out of this lift. They got out of the lift and from there they took the escalators. They were trying to get to their car so that they could be about the business that they needed to be about. So um, they tried to use escalators. They used one escalator going down. The car was in the basement. Um, parking lot of the shopping center and at some point after using that first escalator there was a situation where it was like so many escalators which one are, are they supposed to take they were trying to figure that out and I think they took another um, escalator going down so they were getting closer to the goal but there was just so much confusion in terms of which escalator do we take? How do we just want to get to where we're going to. We know that we need to get to the car. We know where the car is. But there's just so much confusion in terms of just getting there. There's all these delays. There's all these things in the way. And at some point it was, should we take the, should they take the stairs? Should they take the escalator? And basically the dream ended before they got to the car. But what I felt in the dream was they were really they understood, they understood what, what they needed to do and they were going to get there. It was just this frustration of getting there already. And that was basically the dream. So the Lord gave me the interpretation of the dream and it has to do with the kingdom marriages, the kingdom um, relationships that are coming up in terms of romantic relationships. And um, this word is for those of you who are currently in a relationship, you're about to get married to your kingdom spouse you've just gotten married to your kingdom spouse you're engaged you yeah it's 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 new this thing is still new and what the lord is showing us through this dream is that many of you have something that you need to birth it's the beginning of this process where um you're starting this new thing with your kingdom spouse the ministry of marriage so whatever god is calling you into through your marriage because a lot of you actually all of you that are called to be married in this time by the lord into these kingdom marriages there is a kingdom purpose for your marriage and that um the, the the woman in the dream telling the man that you know she's pregnant that they're pregnant with you know it's their baby um was basically that you know there's something there that the lord wants to birth but they need to get going there are things that they need to do they need to get the ministry going they need to get married the car representing the actual marriage the car representing the ministry of marriage and um so so i need to just take something back when i said it's for the it's for when I gave the category of who this word is for. It's not for those of you who are married already. I'm really sorry. I slipped that in then. I shouldn't have. It's for those of you who are engaged, who have met your kingdom spouse. Because the whole point of the dream is that you need to get married. <laughs> but the enemy, the whole situation with getting into the lift, trying to get down the escalators, not sure which escalators to use, all the confusion around getting to 
and the car is the enemy trying to place delays delays that seem very tangible delays that could easily um, lead you astray that could easily that you could succumb to because they seem so real the circumstances can seem so real and what the Lord is sharing with us today is that this is the enemy's tactic a friend of mine said to me yesterday she was just prophesying um, and she said to me yesterday that a lot of people right now are facing so much opposition from the enemy but the enemy doesn't have anything on them especially those of you who have taken the time to clean out your bloodline to pray um, and remove any generational curses that may have been in your bloodline the enemy doesn't have anything to hold you on anymore so he's going to try different tactics to try and stop you from walking into your promises into the things that God is calling you to into your kingdom marriage and um, basically what the Lord is saying through that is don't allow the enemy to steal that from you um, he's saying and my friend mentioned this as well is that um, you have authority but that is where a lot of us a lot of us are really struggling at the moment we're struggling with understanding the authority that we have that we can just kick the devil to the curb curb sorry guys <laughs> i think i said curve to the curb and um and that would be the end of it. Like we literally have power and authority. This is the scripture that the Lord gave me for this word. Mark 6 verse 7. And it says, And he called his 12 disciples together and began sending them out two by two, giving them authority to cast out evil spirits. Sending them out two by two. Sounds like marriage to me. That's the scripture that the Lord gave me for this word. And he's saying that he is sending you out with your kingdom spouse and he's given you authority. He really has. Luke 10, 19 says, and I'm reading from the Amplified on this one. It says, listen carefully. I have given you authority that you now possess. You now possess it to tread on serpents and scorpions and the ability to exercise authority over all the power of the enemy which is satan and nothing will in any way harm you you have been given authority jesus has given you authority to trample on the serpents and the scorpions and over all the power of the enemy i love that over all the power of the enemy you have that authority and what god is calling us to do in this time is to exercise that authority when we see the circumstances looking like they're about to oppose the marriage they're about to come and cause delays it's up to you are you going to partner with the devil or are you going to partner with the lord are you going to use your authority and and take what's yours and receive the blessing that the Lord has for you. Some of you are really facing serious spiritual warfare in terms of getting to a point of being married. You've met your kingdom spouse, but things just keep happening. Things that seem so tangible and so real, things that we can easily partner with and say, well, now that this has happened, I guess we need to change the date of this, or, well, you can't do this anymore. We can't do that anymore because this thing has happened. That's the enemy. He can't get to you in any other way. He can only get to you by trying to make your circumstances look bad. And you need to use your authority to stand against that and tell him, no, this is the plan. This is what we're doing. And we're sticking with that plan. I'm partnering with the Lord. I'm using my authority. And, and I know I have authority and power over all the power of the enemy. That's, that's the mindset that we need to take on in this time. I did um, put a video up a few weeks ago where I was speaking about how, you know, we need to be speaking things into existence because we have been given that power and that authority to speak these things into existence. And, and, and it's as simple as that. What do you believe? What are you going to bring to fruition with your mouth, with your tongue? Because right now, well, I guess the, the, the power of the tongue is very strong. Whatever you say manifests, right? And if you keep saying it and you keep believing it, it will be as you say. So be careful what you're saying, what you're speaking into your life and take what's yours and exercise your authority. That's the important, most important thing um, that the Lord wants to get across to us today is for us to exercise our authority. So friends, that's the word. I really, really pray that it's blessed you. And um, I really encourage you to take it before the Lord. Those of you that are struggling right now in your um, with your kingdom uh, 
partners, knowing that God has brought you together, but you're facing all these obstacles. Um, I'm just, I just pray that you would just trust the Lord and give it all over to him so that he can, um, he can bring everything to pass. As he has said, you just need to remember the prophet, prophetic words he's given you. Remember what he's told you about your kingdom marriage and hold on to that and use the power and the authority that you have to stop the devil dead in his tracks. Okay, friends, that's all from me. Thank you so much for all your love and your support um, for just the way you guys are just always there for me. I'm really, really grateful for that. And um, yeah, it blesses me so much. Thank you to everyone that has supported me with my music. If any of you are interested in music, you love music, have a look in the description box down below. There's a link there to my EP. And if any of you are interested in being a part of a group where we interpret each other's dreams together once a week, um, I do encourage you to click the join button, which is next to the subscribe button. And if you can't see it, it the link is in the description box below. Um, so there are two options on how to to join um, the membership. So that's all from me, guys. Uh, thank you so much. I pray that you guys have a blessed weekend. And yeah, remember that God is a very, very good father. He loves you so much. And you are so special to him.